All right, guys, here we go. Very effective leg workout that you can try the next time you go to the gym. The first one is a real burner. Six movements back to back, no rest. Okay, you're gonna do 15 reps on everything except for the walking lunges. You're gonna do 12 steps down and 12 steps back. Let me give you the breakdown. Okay, here we go. Leg extensions, leg curls, body weight squats, walking lunges, body weight squats, walking lunges, done. Okay, six movements back to back, no rest in between. You're gonna go right into the next round. You wanna do four rounds. I promise by the time you get done, these puppies are gonna be smoking. Before we get started, let's talk about the old leg extension machine. It's gonna isolate the quads, and yes, it's gonna work the entire quad. But we can emphasize certain areas of the quad if you're just mindful about it, okay? So there's three different areas that we wanna really concentrate on. The first one is a center muscle. This muscle really makes the upper leg look great, especially if you're in a pair of tidy whites, like this guy right here. This is called the rectus femoris. And then you want to think of the two other areas of the leg. The rectus medialis, which is the teardrop muscle in the front of the leg, and the rectus lateralis, which is the outside muscle in the quad. And this is what a lot of people term as the leg sweep. So when you're on a leg extension, don't mindlessly just be doing a leg extension without thinking about what you're trying to work. If we're trying to work the first muscle, which I want to talk about, the rectus femoris, the center muscle, what you want to do is you want to push this seat back as far as it can go. So I'm going to set it back like that. So now I'm leaning further back. You want to raise your hips up, okay? And then you want to do your leg extension with the hips raised up and make sure you get full range of motion so you're coming all the way back. The real work is done when the weight barely touches the rack and goes back up. You're really emphasizing the rectus femoris, okay? Now when you want to isolate the medialis, all you're going to do is slightly turn your toes outward and that's going to emphasize the medialis, okay? Remember, like I said, no matter what you do when you get on an isolated machine like this, you're going to work the entire quad. So here we go. We're going to go with the legs pointed outwards like this and it's going to emphasize the medialis, all right? And it's the exact opposite when you're trying to do the lateralis, the outside muscle or the leg sweep. You want to turn your feet slightly inwards and then you're going to emphasize that lateralis. Okay, so basically, I just want to make sure that the next time you get on a leg extension machine, that you maximize your results. Leg extensions, 15 reps. And make sure right when you're done, don't waste time. Go right into the leg curl. Don't waste any time. You're gonna go right into the body weight squats. Concentrate on form, full range of motion. Keep it in your heels, head up. Again, don't waste time. Grab those plates, whether it's 10 pound plates, 25 pound plates, whatever works for you. Do your walking lunges, concentrating on your balance. Body weight squats again. This is where it starts to burn. And then you're doing your walking lunges back. Remember, I say balance because you want to keep the balance in that front foot. Drop the back knee and make sure you keep it in the front heel. Part two of our little leg workout here. My legs are already cooking pretty good. So we're going to slow the pace down a little bit. We're going to do three movements back to back. Leg press, Romanian deadlifts, and calf raises. Everything you want to do between 12 and 15 reps, except for the calf raises, we want to bump that up to about 25 reps. Okay, let's do it. All right, you're going to do three rounds here, starting with leg press. Full range of motion. Be careful you don't lock out your knees at the end. Leg press is one of those power movements that works the entire leg, from the glutes to the hamstrings, quads, and even the calves. Romanian deadlifts, one of the best exercises that you can do in the gym, but you gotta maintain proper form. Let's go to the close up. Here you can see back is flat, bar is close to the legs. Keep the emphasis in your heels. If your back's hurting, you ain't doing it right. 
got to do calf raises if you want to have good legs. And you want to do these until they're burning. Check out the wide shot. I'm slinging those bad boys up, but that's the only way I'm going to get those final reps. All right, guys. This is it, finally, the end of the workout. My legs are dead. Part one in the books. Part two, we just finished. This is part three, this is the finisher. All we're gonna do, one movement, split squats, 12 reps on each leg. Let's do it, come on. Split squats are a good finisher. Here I'm holding 25 pound dumbbells, but hold whatever you want. You wanna hold 10s, 15s, 20s, even 30s, it's totally up to you. Just make sure you're getting that full range of motion. Concentrate on that front heel, drop that back knee to the floor. Switch legs and get your reps on the other side. Remember, we're doing two rounds of this. Your legs may be shaking. You may have nothing left in the tank. But the good news, this is the finisher. All right, guys, that is officially it. I got nothing left. This leg workout is, as they say, in the books. I hope that it inspires you to get in the gym and hit your legs hard. Maybe do everything that we did today or just take a couple of exercises and implement them into your workout. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so the next time I post a video, you'll be notified. Until next time, stay inspired. We'll see you guys. I'm gonna limp out of here. Oh yeah.